Hello and welcome to Rotted Reviews, and today we're continuing on with the advent calendar of holiday horror movies counting down to the 25th. And today I'd like to talk about a movie from Austria made in 2016, Attack of the Lederhosen Zombies. This is an example of a movie that was most definitely chosen by the absurdity of its title. This is not necessarily a full-on Christmas movie, but it does have to do with some revelry and festivities around a wintry setting. And the nature of this movie is centered around a couple of snowboarders that are stranded at the top of a mountain after a prank gone wrong. And in order to get down the mountain, well, pretty much every facility is closed off to them. The last bus has already come. The ski lift is shut down. It's towards the end of the season. Nobody else is going to town. So they're essentially stranded. But fortunately, there's a tavern. I mean, if you're going to be stranded at the top of a snowy mountain and have to wait until morning for the next bus, why not spend your time in a tavern with endless drinks? The problem kind of comes into play when nearby uh, an experiment distinct place with man-made snow and an unknown chemical that gets sprayed into somebody's face, thereby turning them into a biological hazard. So this movie was billed as a horror comedy, and I think for me, the real big problem with this is that the comedy half almost entirely falls flat. If I were to try and think of the words that are used to describe some of the best aspects of humor, sharp, smart, quick, I would have to say that this movie falls on the opposite side of all of that. It employs everything at such a dull, odd pace with a juvenile tone to it that just never really gets off the ground for me. It's almost like the comedy imbued within this movie is trying to run through molasses. It just doesn't really get anywhere. I love silly and slapsticky and absurd levels of humor, but if we're looking at the best examples of those working, like Airplane or Top Secret, it's only silly and slapsticky on the surface. Underneath, it's still just as sharp and smart as ever. But that's really not the case with Attack of the Later Hells and Zombies. I think it really tries to lean on its own absurdity way too much, expecting that that will carry the entirety of the film's humor, and it just doesn't. And one aspect of that that really doesn't help this film is the fact that it's in English. I tip my hat to anybody that is multilingual. I think it's a fantastic trait, one that I'm personally envious of. However, it's also pretty clear that the principal performers in this film do not speak English as their primary language. Everything was spoken well and articulated well, except it really didn't have the cadence that shows that there's the muscle memory in play of English being the primary language. And because of that, it contributed very heavily to that level of humor feeling slowed down. When the humor is predicated upon having rapid fire dialogue happening between characters, but they're verbally wearing 20 pound ankle weights, it doesn't do the film any favors. I wish they had just kept it in the native language. Okay, so for a comedy horror, the comedy is off the table for me, but how about that horror half? Honestly, not too bad. I think overall it was a little bit unremarkable, but that's pretty much only because it took so long to actually get the ball rolling with things. The beginning half of this movie took a while to get anything off the ground, and I could see a lot of its influences in films like Shaun of the Dead as they're kind of slowly introducing the zombie aspect of this. But again, kind of going back to that sharp versus dull humor, whereas Shaun of the Dead was looking at the situations where characters weren't really noticing the zombie apocalypse because of the blinders that we put on as we walk through society. Instead, this movie kind of relies on the same gimmick, but just because characters are oblivious. It kind of feels like a lot of Weekend at Bernie's moments and then eventually Weekend at Bernie's too. But once the ball did get rolling, this actually did manage to churn out some pretty decent zombie effects. I think for me, in the entirety of this movie, there were three moments. And I mean moments. I don't mean scenes or arcs or big dialogue deliveries. I'm just talking kills or whatnot that maybe last for 5 to 15 seconds. And those three moments were the ones that really stood out to me. The problem was that two out of those three, it was in the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. So it was kind of continuing on with that slog to get there. It was flat humor and okay-ish zombie stuff until those moments, and even then it was a little bit fleeting. So I don't want to just completely dismiss this movie because it's not every day I'm sitting through the end credits of a zombie flick feeling like I experienced something visually new. But with Attack of the Later Hosen Zombies, I kind of did. So I think the question at this point becomes, can I give a recommendation of a movie based on the merits of just a few unique standout moments? And Honestly, I think I'm going to have to sit on this question for a little while. So in the meantime, Attack of the Later Hells and Zombies, if you're in the mood for something silly that you're willing to take a pretty big gamble on, maybe it's worth rolling the dice. Otherwise, it might be safer to go with a more solid entry. 
But I think that should about wrap this one up. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you on my next review. Remember, next time you want to watch a horror movie, first make sure that it's good and rotted.